And welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube for part two of our special sub battle Saturday stream today. Um, so far, I have been getting very fortunate and been picking up all the wins, but you know, team chat's going to want to uh, get in that win column here. Um, if you don't know what this is all about, hopefully you check out part one. This is part two. We're doing for the seven hour stream today, We're just kind of breaking it down into three parts for the YouTube. So it's not just a seven hour video. Hopefully you check that out. I kind of describe it better there, but this is where I'm playing, uh, matches against chat all day, um, with different decks and to find out what deck I'm playing each time. I have this wheel that I'm spinning that started with 44 decks on it. Let's see what's going to be the next deck that I'm going to be playing here today. What's the next one? Orzov Control. Grixis Amass. Oh, it went a little bit too far. All right, Grixis Amass. All right. So I'm going to go to best of three. We're playing against Toti. And Grixis Amass is our deck. There it is. So I don't have a link to each deck, but these are all decks that I've played uh, before on stream. If there's any decks that you like for like those of y'all watching on YouTube, you know, you can just search, search like, you know, the name of the deck and my name and, and uh, you know, Grixis of Mass, Todd Stevens, MTG, for example, if you want to find the deck list and see it being played previously. All right. So this is our deck. So here we go. All right, good luck, Toadie. Okay, you're going to try Historic in round two. Nice, Fluky. If we get there. Yeah, Ross, maybe up to you. Uh, so my, my gamer tag is right there for toti i guess i didn't didn't do that yeah so copy paste my gamer tag in there make sure you choose the best of three the third option down make sure you change it from best of one to best of three no i don't think you should have taken kiora over the great henge i don't think so I, th I think probably taking the Great Henge was correct. Great Henge is pretty ridiculous how you get to draw a card with every single creature. It just happened for me to be that that I was drawing a card with all of those creatures with Kiora. And then I guess, but it's not, not all of my creatures are f four power or greater. It just happened to be all the creatures that I had and drew were four power or greater. But I guess... I guess I also have to play my creature and then kind of untap with the creature to get the Great Henge out there. So I guess you, I guess there could be both of those kind of put together. Maybe yeah, maybe you should have um, done the Great Henge. I could see that. Or done Kior. I could see that. All right, so yeah, Toti. So third option down that's right here. This option, make sure you change it to best of three. This option right here. So yeah. Yes. Yeah, third option down, Toti. Change change this option right here to best of three. You don't need to change anything else. Yeah, keep everything else the same. There we go. All right. Let's see what we got. So I'm rolling with Grixis Amass. That's a good hand. Been having a lot of good hands today. Yep, yes, you can choose Historic if you want. Yep, you can choose Standard or Historic, either one. 
I have a wheel for historic also. It only has eight decks on it. My standard one has 44 decks, but yep. All right, well, I hope... Hope Royal Silence doesn't get countered. No. All right, well... That's kind of about all I had. Looks like we're playing against... Is it Flash? Um, sorcery speed, not really where you want to be against Is It Flash. Oh, Brawl. Oh, sorry. I, I didn't really... I just missed that word there with Brawl. Um, I don't I don't have any Brawl decks put together, honestly. Gadwick. Yeah, I don't I I don't have any yeah, I don't have any brawl decks put together. Um Sorry, Choco. So I'm glad there was no like Brazen Borrower to bounce the 4-4 token before I untapped there. Two top. Alright, with Toti tapped out, we'll play the Dreadhorde Invasion. Otherwise, I would have kept the Negate up. <laughs> uh, it's nice frisky so yeah so if, if a non-sub wants to to play just say something in chat and Frisky said they'll gift out a sub. So is this Brineborn Cutthroat going to get big enough to block the Overseer? It's possible. Then if so, then I'll probably have to swift end the Cutthroat because I want to keep the Overseer out here. Ugh, I guess I have to. Even though it'd be a lot better to Legion's End.
This one's looking really good for me. Al's outburst isn't going to do enough. But it's a start, I suppose. Alright. Turns out hexproof 6 sixes. Good enough. So some duress, negate, narset, thought distortion. It should be awesome here. Yeah, thought distortion should be awesome. That should definitely be a good one. Um... All right, here we go. Yeah, no, I've, I've just been getting, I've been getting the good hands and everything. Ken just came the closest. But yeah, some days, sometimes, some days I get it all. Other days I don't. There you go, Debo. There you go. See, like, Duress is, like, one of my best draws here. Um... Normally, I'd want to wait until next turn and be able to go Duress plus Dreadhorde Invasion and double spell immediately on turn three. But I don't have a second black source to be able to make sure I can double spell. So I guess I'm just going to fire off the duress now. Because it, because yeah, like the duress was going to eat the counter spell, and then I would be able to play the other. I'd safely be able to play the the threat. Um, probably, probably about 20, probably about 20 minutes or so there, Kendis. Alright, looks like Toti's got this one. Double cutthroat. Quite strong on the play in particular. All right, we're going to game three. I'm going to play more Legion's Ends. It's only good against one card, but that one card is very important to try to stop.
It's a very important one card. Of course, that one card being Brian Bourne Cutthroat. I don't really need a second red source for anything, so we'll just put the other blood curve down to the bottom. This is quite the hand. Oh, triple island. Okay. So my other thought erasure is going to get quenched. If I take the quench, then then they get to play the cutthroat. I can probably find something for a cutthroat. There we go. Ugh. <laughs> now that card doesn't do anything. Well, darn, I wish I would have just played the Dismal Backwater, then I would, I would have to pay the two life. But I could play that plus Thought Erasure. Yeah, I, just, I wasn't planning on playing Narset the next turn with Cutthroat and Borrower able to attack it immediately. And so I decided to save the life... by playing the Blood Crypt. I guess I should have just taken should have taken this cutthroat instead of the quench got really punished by that Looking good for team chat. I have practiced against many hone your prowess. Wait, what was my other cards? Dreadhorde invasion didn't do anything. What was the other one? I need to find Legion's End. Uh. I don't have the mana now. All right, Toadie picked it up. Team chat's on the board. Six and one and undefeated in part two. Thought Erasure, that's right. Yeah, another card that didn't do anything. Yeah. That's right, that's right. 
All right, so for those of y'all that are subscribers, you want to be the next person to play, type the word battle into the chat. So there you go. GG's, Toadie. All right, so now it's... Now it's... Can, can team chat stay on a roll? Get the next one. All right, so get on in there if you're a subscriber. <laughs> Don't call to come back. <laughs> yeah, that first match, yeah, you just had all lands there. Soto, thanks so much for that tier one sub. Thanks, Soto. So yeah, get, get in there, Soto, if you want to. Type the word battle if you want to play. Give Soto just a little bit of time, just in case. Getting on in there. All right, who's up? All right, Debo, Debo four. So. You want standard, right, Debo? Pretty sure Debo wants standard. Oh, there you go, Soto. Awesome. You won the win the Pioneer win a box last night. That's that's great, Soto. Okay. Do you play Magic Online? Cool, cool, cool. Okay, yes, standard. All right, let's spin the wheel, see what see what I'm playing. Ooh, Racto Spirit. This is one of my favorite decks to play. All right, Racto Spirit. Where is it at? Has it been this this long since we played Racto Spirit? I must have missed it. Hmm. Oh, there it is. So basically, this is just a deck with a whole lot of cheap removal. Try to get to Theater Fours and grind out with Theater Fours. That's the goal. And use Pestilent Spirit to kill bigger things, even though we've got cheap removal. Oh, you're welcome, Hawk. Glad to hear. Stormfist Crusader. We need that extra gas. Which we should be able to play more spells than our opponents because of how cheap all of our cards are i think against breeding pool breeding pool i want to just actually get actually let's just get aggressive let's just kind of be like rakdos aggressive stuff oh yeah yeah rakdos aggressive stuff for sure what are all these lands doing we do have lots and lots of burn spells in this deck Lots of direct damage. So, you know, like, each point that we can do is important.
Hey, Guru. Good evening. Hmm. Down to six. These creatures also have menace, like these Stormfist Crusaders, so I would be able to just attack with the Stormfist Crusader through a five six. But yeah, we also I mean this deck also has like the devil and murderous rider and stuff like that that can kill a five six too without spirit. On the board. I think there's Angrass Rampages in here too. Rise, my elemental friend. Wow. I knew you needed my help. Sit back yeah. and watch it burn. I do need your help. Barely. Do they have a bounce spell? No bounce spell. Or gain land. Alright, good job, Stormfist Crusader. Yeah, this deck has 23 lands. <laughs> we had like 11 or 12 of them or something like that. Alright, bunch of Noxious Grasps. That one seems pretty valuable. All right, so no rampages, but just just a few bedevils and murderous riders. That's what I would have done. Bone Crusher is basically a two drop. All right, so we play Noxious Grasp. Um, Leafkin Druid's like just pretty annoying being an O3. It's definitely an annoying one. I could play Legion's Ends. Legion's End being able to take out Krasis as well. Probably a good idea. I wonder if I should be doing drill bit. I mean, if I play Legion, like, so what am I taking out? Pyrohelix, Helix, even though Pyro Helix was really good against Risen Reef. But we still have Shock and Carnival. Could take out a land on the draw. Did seem like we had plenty of those. No, I want two of these. I'm going to take out either a Shock or a Carnival. We'll just take out a Carnival. No, let's take out a Shock. Okay. I do need to draw red mana. This hand's awesome if I draw red mana. Sit 
think I want a mulligan, though. It's kind of risky. Ugh. Same thing. But I don't want to go to... I don't want to go to five. This hand's worse than the other one, though. My seven was better than this. That's how magic goes, though. That last game, we had all the lands we could ever want. This game, we get none. But I'll be back on the play for game three. I should probably play Shock instead of Carnival. I guess on the play, we have the Bone Crusher Giants here, though. I need to be able to kill... I was thinking, like, Gilded Goose. I guess we haven't really seen a Gilded Goose, though. I wouldn't mind... these drill bits. All right, I'll go three and three with Shock and Carnival in one drill bit. Just the one drill bit. Just take that one card we need to take. See, I'm glad we have this one drill bit instead of a, another Shock or Carnival. There's disrespecting Pestilent Spirit. No card style for Pestilent Spirit. Yep, there you go. Yep, chat's on the board. Menace and Death Touch, which is really cool. Hey, pump on fire. Resub in three months now. Welcome back. Thanks for that resub. That gets us to our 10th sub on the day. First sub goal towards another 12 hour stream. So they're at eight.
Saving the Bone Crusher Giant, of course, because that can go upstairs and do two damage to them. We have both of these creatures having menace. Make them pretty difficult to block. And yeah, my my yeah, Debo couldn't just shock and then play Cavalier. Cause shocking would put down to one and then Stormfist would do the extra one. Stormfist Crusader was like MVP of this for me. Yep, I just have lethal here. That Recto Spirit deck's pretty sweet. That's a fun one to play. You know, the games don't usually go like that. It's not usually the aggressor like it was in those games. Usually we're a lot more de defensive. GG's there, Deepa 4. GG's. Okay. Next up, if you're a subscriber, you want to be the next person to battle... Type the word battle into the chat. <laughs> yeah, the menace was so good. Yeah, it made, made a block in so tough. Ugh. So yeah, just no, no exclamation point. Guru. Just regular battle. If you want to play next. And if you win, make sure to tell, let me know standard or historic. Let me know what format that you want to play. All right. We're getting more people in here. Make sure everybody gets, gets a chance to get on in here. Everybody in there. Looks like it. Okay, who's up? Well, radical guru. So, guru, did you want to? Did you want to battle, or were you just doing the the command? All right. What what format? Standard or historic? So standard or historic? Standard, okay. All right, let's go and grab our standard wheel and spin it. What are we playing up next? Another Grixis deck? Looks like it. Grixis Surveil. The one loss I've had was playing Grixis. That was the one loss so far. So let's see how Grixis Surveil. Here it is. Okay, so this is what this is what the deck looks like. It's basically just blue black. <laughs> yeah, it's it's all blue black. I guess we're just splashing for Bedevil and Nicol Bolas. <laughs> so really, we're splashing for Nicol Bolas because you know we could definitely play like Murderous Rider instead of Bedevil. So yeah, we're just blue black control with Bolas. But of course, it's called Surveil because it's disinformation campaign deck and plays all those. And Mission Briefing. Mission Briefing. That's a sweet card. We got three of those. All right, so yeah, let me know that gamer tag. Radical Guru, there's mine. 
All right, there's yours. All right, and make sure you have it changed over to best of three right here behind the camera. Change that to best of three. And here we go. All right, good luck. All right, what we got? Got any disinformation campaigns? This looks like a pretty ideal hand. Thought erasure into campaign. Um, it's kind of hard for me to pick up campaign in this deck. Basically just have um, thought erasure, like four thought erasure, two discovery, and three mission briefing as surveil cards to pick them up. But Curve considerations, especially how we have another campaign now. We should still cast the Thought Erasure right now. Ooh. Okay, Abzan Hero. This deck's pretty sweet. That Soren may get me. Certainly possible probable that I should have taken Soren. Oh dang, going big. Yeah, I should have taken Soren. No land is good for me. I think Guru should probably be discarding the Dispark or the Trophy, like one of those two. Probably don't need both of those. All right, so that's good, because now now we can counter Soren with the Drown and the Lock. So that's good. I can do that, and I can play a 3-1 Borrower to kill the Golgari Queen. So if Guru just plays Soren here, which is very likely, we'll be able to go counter, play a 3-1. Okay, not... Not doing that. Only had another, another island. Okay. Well, now, now that a spark's looking good. All 
Let's not have to be too worried about the Golgari Queen. Perfectly fine. It's not often I'm outmaneuvered. In exchange for eternal servitude, my schemes are never ending. All right, so Nicol Bolas will get disbarred. But that's fine. We of course we have the castle. We have lots of mana. We're we're looking good here. Just the card the card advantage from her. disinformation campaigns, you know, like those have been. Quite good. I am a god once again. I'll be pretty surprised if Rackle Guru can fight back from all of this. <laughs> you have no weakness that I cannot exploit. Campaign and Dragon God, such a good combo. All right. Whoa. There's probably something with Campaign, Nicol Bolas, and Fires of Invention. Maybe there's a Grixis Fires deck with a bunch of disinformation campaigns. Maybe there's something there. Oh, you can't get into the sideboard, Radical Guru? All right, well, let me go back and... All right, so I won't sideboard. All right, that's the main deck. <coughs> no, there, there's no Fires of Invention in this one. Oh, if you can't sideboard, it won't ever go... Uh-oh, we may just be stuck on this screen forever, then. Actually, now that I think about it, we can't exit. Okay. So Guru's froze, and so they're re re reconnecting now. Because yeah, with with the with the challenge, you don't you're not limited to a specific amount of time for you to sideboard. So I shouldn't have hit cement. Because I can't. There's there's no. I know. Oh yeah, y'all can't see because of the camera. There's no option up here in the corner to restart to close it out. Okay, there we go. Guru got it to work. <laughs> yeah, Guru broke my client, so team chat wins.
All right, so we're doing game one again. Game one, part two. I'll admit this hand isn't good. <laughs> but it hit, hits land drops. That's important. Exile with Cruelty is nice against Soren. Beardly! Thank you so much, Beardly. It... Coming back for a year now. Awesome. Ooh, I got an emote. Thanks to Beardly's subscription. What I get? Ooh, I got the... The Ha Ha Hide. It. I'll just play this thing. Thanks, Beardly. All right, number eleven. <laughs> Oh, Soren. I did not stop this fight. All right, good. No creatures for Soren to bring back right now. Time for a drink. Well, that was a good draw. Murderous Rider doesn't work the best with mission briefing, and admittedly. crack this fable passage there's only i think there's four swamps so there's only two other lands so i should probably crack this fable passage before they go away wow guru's hand must be pretty good you know getting rid of a bell haunt and then oh gosh there's only one other swamp so good thing we went and got that out Hmm. Well, these cards don't actually do anything right now. There's nothing that wrong with another cruelty. So basically I'm doing this to put the disinformation campaigns back in, into my hand. Because I feel like this could be a bull of citadel. Ah, it's just a Mortify. Now I'll have next turn, I'll have the combo of like Borrower Bounce and then Campaign Discard. Also. I'm playing Grixis Surveil. That's the deck I'm playing right now. Grixis Surveil. All right, say no to Knight of Autumn and no to Golgari Queen. Hmm. I wonder what 
what Guru wants. It's a lot of life going down here. That's a lot of life going down. Okay. We kept something. What do we keep? Garrick? Kethis. Okay. That's a pretty good one, keep. Oh, we didn't play anything else? Didn't play Golgari Queen? Probably should play Golgari Queen there. I guess don't get to really play more things, though, if you play Golgari Queen. All right, come on, lands. So we're going to bounce this. And then campaign. And then cruelty. GG's. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah, if, if we would have played that against uh, against your deck, D, before the, the last deck, yeah, that your Simic deck would have crushed this Grixis deck for sure. Simic is not a great matchup for this deck. Yep. The Rakdos one, definitely... I mean, I, I got pretty lucky having... Twice having turned to, like, you know, I think on the play both times. Yeah, I think on the play both times. Yep. On the play, turn to uh, that menace creature. That menace creature was awesome. Anyway, GG's. Radical Guru. Okay. If you'd like to be up next, if you want to be the next person to play... If you're a sub, type the word battle into the chat. I'm going to just reset arena while y'all are typing a battle into the chat. Getting everybody in here. I'm going to do some resub or reset. There we go. Yeah, see how like I need a new computer like this. It's like skipped frames detected. Uh, Minigo, 3, 5, 9, 11, 13, 15, 19. It's just, it's just always sk skipped frames. Oh, we're getting more and more people in here. Okay, give you all another minute. Hey, do you have GG's, Guru? Sorry for getting stuck on lands. Hey. Yeah, you're good, Wales. You're good. All right, who's up? Come on, dude. All right, you're up next. Come on, dude. So let me know historic or standard. And also send me your gamer tag. There's mine. If you just click on it here, it... it it copies it. You just click on yours. You can copy, paste it into the chat. It's okay. You got a meme deck? Be gentle. That's all good. Yeah, you're playing my Azan Hero. Yeah, I saw that. How how are you liking that deck? How are you liking that one? All right, so yeah, we're going with standard. 
Come on, dude. And also, what's your gamer tag? Cool. All right. I'm going to spin the wheel, see what deck I'm playing. Oh, uh, I, I'm playing the Abzan Hero deck now. All right, make sure you change your format to best of three. It's the third option. It's like right here. Make sure you change yours to best of three. This line right there. Yeah, so you click the sword at the top. That's the only thing you got to change. Just change that to best of three. Copy paste my gamer tag. There it is again. Well, well, Abzan Hero wants some revenge. So yeah, you were going with the the little bit of the the older school Abzan Hero whenever I had the, the Citadel and Citadel and uh, Doom Whisper to reset Citadel. The last time I played it, I took those out, but not necessarily saying that this is better. But here we go. Oh, don't don't change anything else. So it should just say challenge match. Just change the best of three. Don't change anything else. Make sure it still just says every, everything else should just be the same. You like the old version better? Gotcha. So come on, dude. So th this should be your your settings. Basically, it starts with challenge match and coin flip. The only thing you have to do is just change this to best of three. That's the only thing. <laughs> yeah, you can put Citadel in a deck where, yeah, you just have a lot of cards that say gain life on them. Um... You know, like Bond of Flourishing, Basilica Bell Hunt, Oath of Kaya, Tulsimer. You know, so you just have like a whole lot of stuff that gains life. Okay, cool. That's what you're doing? All right. So should be good to go then. Perfect. All right, good luck. Yeah, Sabzan Hero Deck hasn't hasn't had enough lands in these hands. So we're struggling. Don't got don't got enough mana. All right, good. More mana. I have to play another tap land here, but that's fine. I just need just trying to acquire mana. I guess Kenrith's not mana, but against basic mountain, I think we probably want to keep the Kenrith. Yeah. All right, Glinthorn Buccaneer. That card's sweet. Iron Crag Feet. Nice. Ugh. Ow. Hmm. Kenrith doesn't die to shock. Shock does four damage. 
That's just such sweet art. The swords rising up. I'm basically saving 8 damage here. 4 from the Buccaneer, 4 from a Shock. Oh, wow. Buccaneer with Torbrand, you get to do 3 damage with that ability. That is pretty powerful. Hey, Sir Eccles. What's up? Happy Saturday. That could be important. I gotta lead with Garrick first, though. Gotta kill Torbrand. This curse, this Bromic, I need them gone. Oh, I've had enough of you. Okay. Claim the firstborn. Wasn't expecting that. Was not expecting that. Wonder what this iron crag feat's gonna do. This can let you just like, you know, seven more mana. You could just like activate Glenhorn Buccaneer a ton. Could give haste. I'm gonna get I'm gonna be able to give a counter though. I'm gonna I'd rather do the plus one plus one counter. Ooh. I probably don't want to do haste right now. Um It's like Dracuseth. Is that Iron Crag feed into Dracuseth? Choose target human or artifact an opponent controls and gain control of that permanent. It loses all abilities it can't attack. Oh my gosh. Gets to gain control of Kenrith. Wow, that's so good.
Thankfully, it loses all abilities. Otherwise, that'd be real rough. Imagine they just take the Kandareth, activate it to give all the creatures trample and haste. Yeah, this is pre board even. Imagine the sideboard spice this guy could be running. Oh, probably should attack with a Kenrith. I'll phase through anything that stands in my way. Because if you attack with a Kenrith there. Not forever. For me to kill it, I have to block with Seraph and Midnight Reaper. And if I block with Seraph, then their opportunistic dragon gets to do a lot of attacking. Uh oh. Right, right. Beat me this time. Bravo. Ruh -roh. Oh, Kenrith can't attack or block either? Oh, can't attack or block either. Man. So I Yeah, so I was like. All right, gain control of that permanent loses all abilities. I kind of stopped reading because, you know, I was just doing other things. But, yeah, I guess and it can't attack or block either. Guess I didn't quite read that one. Usually I'm better at dodging. Yeah, we we're in trouble. I hope you say good for you. I'm gone for now, but not forever. What can I draw? I have some removal spells. Ooh, Tristani. Okay. I need one more mana. I 
cannot reanimate. I can just gain five life. Though. Do I just kill Dracuseth? So yeah, if, if we'd used Tristani and get it back, um, for as long as Opportunistic Dragon remains on the battlefield, it loses all abilities, can't attack or block. It probably, it probably does not get its abilities or can attack or block. Probably not. All right, whenever this deals combat damage to player, each player discards their hand and then draws seven. I don't know, that could be just fine for me. Yeah, I'm not sure how that would work. No, there's the Sundering Stroke. Sweet. All right, Mono Red Dragons. Man, that Steel Kenrith. That was something I was not expecting. That was something I was not expecting. <laughs> this is why sub battle day yeah this is why sub battle day is the, the best because y'all get to cheer against me um yeah pretty so going big red huh That Torbran got me pretty good. Hillbilly! Thanks for the sub. Get some hype in the chat for our new sub. Hillbilly MTG. Um, all right, here we go. Lands. Try trying to put in one one Kaya's Wrath instead of a Legion's End. Or we really only saw like the one card to Legion's End. Um, you know, just like the the runaway Steamkin. So obviously, I'm going to just sit back with Paradise Druid having Hexproof. Kethis, of course, does reduce the cost of this Tulsimer, so I can play the Tulsimer next turn.
Darn, didn't fall for the block. Uh oh. Thundering stroke. Boom, boom, boom. Let us march into battle and make new comrades. <laughs> Rise. <laughs> so I had the combo. Add seven red mana, and then Sundering Stroke. Deal seven damage divided as you choose. Um, no, I don't, no, this isn't normal for a score like this, no. It sure did, Hillbilly. Thank you so much. So yeah, you came over with with uh, from YouTube. Heard about like the Twitch Prime stuff. Awesome! Thank you so much for for doing that, setting up an account and and subscribing. I appreciate that. No, my Kethis. Makethus. Hmm. Waste not, want not. Smelly, but effective. Well, I like my chances here. With having Liliana out here, Kaya's Wrath Trophy, this looks pretty good for me. How many lands they got over here? No, none so far? I get to gain three life, draw three cards. I've learned much from you. They were a lousy servant anyway. Death is enlightening. One more chance. <laughs> Rise and shine. <laughs> he runs playing. Oh god, I love this guy's deck. That could be anything. The possibilities. Just think of them. See, I don't even know if I'm supposed to minus nine. It's just destroy four lands right now. I honestly don't think I'm supposed to. I think Liliana's too valuable. This looks like a fun new toy. I leave the Golgari now. Step aside or be crushed. I'll find a use for you later. The Liliana Vraska combination is always a good one. Draw, t you know, makes it a draw two. For Bron. All right, then I'd minus nine. Now, now it's gonna sack the one one to draw two.
I think that was a good call, adding in the Kaya's Wrath. Kind of want to play Duress, but nah. Every time he, I think of a sweet deck for, for Historic, I remember that Oko and Nexus exist. Yep. Nexus isn't isn't as good in the format, though, honestly. I'm, I'm actually kind of starting to come around that Nexus isn't very good in Historic. Oko, on the other hand, is very good. Because basically all the Oko decks, there's a lot of green decks. You know, there's a lot of Gruul also, and they're all playing Questing Beast. And Questing Beast... Shuts down Nexus's ability to fog, which is vital for that deck. All right, Soul Farmer, have a good night. Uh, computer. I cannot wait till we get the new computer. <laughs> yeah, I have. I have been seeing that the the Nexus decks play Oko for their win con. I've definitely been seeing that. Because Oko does a good job of slowing down aggro decks, and that's what Nexus wants anyway. Hmm. This could be bad. Yep, this looks bad. Not so bad, I guess. I don't think so. Fluky Flit, I don't think so. Through feud or feast, your blood is mine. The weak feed the strong. I demand certitude. Ooh, what do we got? No, just a shock. Ah. 
So GG's, that was definitely a fun match. With, come on dudes, bring in the spice. They're mono red dragons. Yeah, I need that red wrath. Oh, you didn't know Drackey set doesn't work with the boar? Yeah, it doesn't. It's sad. Because Drackey set has to be like declared attacker um, right away immediately. And um, the boar just says. Yeah, I need Star of Extinction. The board just says it, it's already attacking. All right. If you're a subscriber, you want to be the next person to play, or you can play Standard or Historic, type the word battle into the chat, just like Chris Michael just did. And I fight wheels with my fists and everybody else. That's all you got to do. Um, let me know if you win, let me know standard or historic, which one do you want to play? Um, and yeah, come on, dude. Yeah. Everybody liked your red deck. That was a pretty awesome deck. Um, and, uh, and then, yeah, of course you're going to have to send me your gamer tag. You just copy paste it from, from right here. All right, we're getting more people in here. Good, good, good. All right, is everybody in here? Let's see. And Starman, you're up. The Starman. Any tips for the deck? Uh, and, and people in chat, feel free to, to answer, too, to help out. Um, come on, do for tips for the deck. Um... I'm not sure, honestly. I'd have to kind of, kind of go through and look. I like the, you know, like like the discard aspects you got. Um, I don't know if there's like anything else super great to play with Iron Crag feet. Maybe like Ugin, or six mana Chandra. You can like play those things with Iron Crag feet on turn four. All right, what format, Starman? Send me that gamer tag. Of course, there's mine. I'm not sure if there's ways to give Drakki Seth haste. Maybe Samit. Samit can give Drakki Seth haste. Samit could give Drakki Seth and Ilharg haste. Ugh. So. What format are we playing? Standard. All right, let's let's spin the wheel. All right, Rakdos Control 2. <laughs> I basically had two Rakdos Control decks in, like, all of these decks um, from before. So I just called one Rakdos Control 2. This was a donation deck from a very long time ago, basically the beginning of the format. So trying to basically play a Rakdos con control built around Iron Crag, Pyromancer, and drawing two. You know, so it has Merchant of the Veil, vale, the Dread Presence that draws a second card, Rankle draws a second card. That's kind of what's all about. And then and then um you know if you have Liliana in play and stuff dying. So yeah, that's that's what this deck's about.
All right, here we go. Oh, Starman, you're playing, is it Flash? Yeah, make sure you choose best three. Is it Flash is the deck that I lost to earlier. And this is another kind of expensive deck. Like, a lot of stuff costs a lot of mana. Oh, yeah, Chandra Regulator. That could work in that mono red deck. And Chandra Regulator could probably work in this deck, too, of, like, another thing to draw, to draw a second card. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, I'm glad we have Scorching Dragonfire, which is an instant over like lava coil, which is not an instant. And I like that we have a good amount of lands that I can sit back and hit some land drops. Yeah, I think I still play this. If this was like a normal control, if this was like a like let's say this was like a a blue white counter spell heavy control deck, I would just be passing and kind of waiting until we could pay for quench and stuff like that and wait till maybe we could double spell. But is it flash isn't really like that because if I don't play anything, they can just play cards like Brazen Borrower. Um I want to make sure to be able to all right, now I have Bone Crusher Giant, though. Now I have removal. But I want to be able to um, play something to keep them from being able to do that. Uh, nope. Yeah, I think you should probably get rid of Claim the Firstborn. Yeah, um, Shock is better than Chandra's Pyro Helix, if you have Shock. I'd rather play that. Um, Bone Crusher Giant's better than either. If you have Bone Crusher Giant, that's better. That's better. Yeah, like basically you should be playing that card. There's some other options. Hey, Storm. How's your Saturday going? Okay, A account created two minutes ago. My wrinkle. Well, let's keep on trying with wrinkle. You're trying to watch the Mythic Championship while suffering from an eye infection. I'm sorry to hear that, Storm. That's not good. Is 
we will be placing an order of midnight. Order on midnight? With midnight? Hmm. Through midnight? See, Kittles has it. Saying, boo, Todd, go chat. Will this rankle ever work? Alright, so we got pretty fortunate with Starman getting stuck on lands. Us, not so much. And we were just able to pay for quenches and everything because we got to draw a bunch of lands. Um, don't really want Cry or Soot. Ugh, I really don't want Merchant of the Veil. Vale. I don't think I do, at least. I guess this isn't just a this isn't great for Pyromancer or Merchant of the Veil. So I have to have like the Pyromancer in play, so it's gotta resolve and then it just sits there. And then if I draw another card, it'll trigger. And basically we use merchants a really good way to trigger it. But I don't want to play basically the reason why I don't want to play this card is because I don't want to play Haggle. Like if I haggle and then I guess it's a may discard a card. It's not in, just automatically. I don't just discard a card. Hmm. Okay, so it's not like Thrill of Possibility where you just as an additional cost, you discard a card and then they counter it, you're done. So I guess it's fine. I don't know. I'm not super excited about it. I probably should be playing this many six mana walkers, though. We'll get rid of an Ugin. Kind of cut two of each. Thanks, JJ. <laughs> yeah, the it's a Spotify playlist that I use that. I put together. This is my playlist right there. Um, this is like a good five card hand. These Lilianas don't really matter right now. I don't know if I keep a five card hand. I don't think I do. I want more lands. There we go. Darn. I was hoping Brineborn Cutthroat, because, you know, Legion's End is basically only good against Brineborn Cutthroat. We don't really need to duress right now. There's nothing, like, I'm not, there's no spells for me to really resolve. So I think I can kind of wait till... Yeah, you know, we want a double spell. You know, like we want to play duress and then play something else to help resolve it. 
So kind of giving them opportunities to draw counter magic because, you know, maybe they don't have any counter spells right now. Or any spells healing. Maybe they just have a hand full of Bone Crusher Giants and Brazen Borrowers and lands. And plus now the duress doesn't get quenched. And we can play around quench pretty well. Uh, the Gadwick. Basically, so that was the other thing about waiting. So we can kind of play around quench. This would have been a great time to have that Liliana if I would have kept Liliana in my hand instead of if I would have put you know put Legion's End down to the bottom. That would have been a great turn to just resolve Liliana. But Merchant's not bad. You know, we can kind of sit back, pay three mana to loot away stuff. Especially when we have a garbage hand like this. Ugh. Um, Not really going to be able to play something after I loot. I guess rummage is the correct word, but after I rummage. Because, you know, we'd like to play around Quench, preferably. This guy here, yeah. I mean, I, I've been playing. I've been playing just tons of different decks all the time. I haven't been playing just one specific deck. Uh, trying to fight through this ionize is tough. This ionize quench combo. This is probably just us dying. By us, I mean, I guess me. Hey, Sir Eccles. This deck list, though, this was Rakdos Control that we played a super long time ago. Um, I don't know. Honestly, I don't, I don't really have, if I was at the Mythic Championship right now, what deck would I have taken? I don't, I don't know. I would have, I don't have like a, I don't have like a great choice for that, that I would be, uh, super confident with. I would, I would have definitely spent a lot more time, spent a couple of weeks of really hammering out, um, what I would have liked to play, but with just the nature of, of um, what I do for streaming every day. I, I, I don't have a specific list that would be 
that comfortable for something that for an event that big. I hope that makes sense. Hmm. <laughs> Shouldn't the hypo be a hype submarine? It could be. I mean, basically, you know how everybody has like hype trains? People are talking about like a hype train. And we just kind of started on the stream of just saying that boats were boats are just cooler than trains. And so we started doing hype boats. This also is around the time it was Kaladesh was in standard and Sky Sovereign. Uh, Council flagship was it a big time standard card? This is why you wait on duress. That's why you don't cast a turn one. Hopefully that gets on in here. So which is cooler, a boat or a submarine? That's a good question. Probably still a boat, right? It's got to be cooler to be above water than below water. I think I'm going to go boat. Um, I think with that, that Grixis, that Grixis draw two. I think I would play. I think I would play all of the Stormfist Crusaders. But I guess if you don't have as much removal, yeah, it doesn't seem like there's enough removal basically in there. Maybe there. Are. I guess Bone Crusher Giants and Murderous Riders those count as removal spells. Do they just shock right here? I feel like they did. I may want a 25th land also. Deep water is kind of scary, but it's cool, though. It's like a whole new world down there. That's a fair point. That's a fair point. Still three mana open, so I still had a, quite a bit of mana. Might as well do this on their turn where they don't get to. Would 
where they don't get to grow the Brineborn Cutthroat. Even though they could counter both of these, but... I'm casting the Bedevil to use 5 mana because we have 5 mana here. And I, I don't want the Bone Crusher Giant counter because I want to be able to... Like, if they counter Bedevil, we would kill with the Bone Crusher Giant and then be able to still play the 4-3. Uh, oh, yeah, they shocked the turn before. To hold up the um, Hypnotic Sprite. I'm going down to 15. Make that 13. I'm going to kill me faster than I'm killing Starman. Oh, I see, Sir Eccles. Yeah, that is, a, that is a huge problem. It triggers during your upkeep before you can play or draw two payoff. That, I see. That, that is a problem. Yeah, you're right. That's a problem. Maybe more, maybe like a 25th land and, and another, or like two more improbable alliance go into like four of that card and just kind of going away from Crusader and Butcher. I don't like Crusader and Butcher. And then playing some more interaction or opt. Yeah, Kittles, I, I have a friend that that uh, that builds a lot of computers, and they're going to help me out as far as the computer building goes. So I'm not too worried about it. to the inferno glad I could help with your not being on fire problem so they have a bone crusher giant they can kill Chandra if I tick up Chandra would have been at three loyalty you know, even getting attacked for five but of course you know we are at 11 also <laughs> I like your energy uh they did have a bone crusher giant that hurts
Rishkar Expertise. That's a good card. Prankster. <laughs> this is a really close game. Well, life total wise, eight to nine. Battlefield is even, and they have a two one flyer where I, where I have a three three flyer, a four three, and a murderous rider in the chamber. Okay. So we trading. Did they get a Gadwick? Looks like it could be a Gadwick. It is. Oh, computer. It's not like these long matches. Sorry about lag issues. As you all know, this is going to be fixed in just a few days. Another Gadwick? It's another one. Refill. So yeah, the plan is for tomorrow and you know Monday is usually best of one day Monday anyway, but the plan is for tomorrow to play. Um, my plan is to just play a lot of best of one tomorrow also. I I kind of expected them to tap the wrinkle, that's why I went straight to combat. But you know, it would have been better to play the land. Okay, they were bouncing it. Yeah, I mean this. This Gadwick's probably just going to end the game. If I keep tapping my creatures. Because um, best of one is, is definitely going to be better for the computer as far as the lag goes. You know, the games aren't nearly as long and drawn out and everything.
All right, well, now they can't keep tapping my creatures. So that's good. Now we're back in the driver's seat. With the Gadwick gone. I don't know what they're going to be able to draw. It's got to be a tough turn for them. I think the big thing was, I think that very first... Hey, what's up, Kaysons? Thanks for getting that Twitch Prime sub in here. Brand new Twitch Prime sub. Bring in the hype. Thanks, Kaysons. <laughs> hey, yeah. Yeah, I don't like borrower against adventure creatures. That's for sure. Ooh, went top, top. Okay, what do we got? Bone Crusher. So close. Two to one. For the life totals there. Two to one. So close. Hey, Kaysons. Thank you so much. But yeah, that's so. What what I was saying there, um, first Starman, um, GGs, GGs. Um, where's my GG emote? But then I think that the the first um, the first Gadwick should have just been tapped out, and just just tap out and just. Um, at that point, I think it could could have drawn like I think it could have drawn two more cards, and maybe that would have helped. Okay, um, all right, so that's part two. Uh, yeah, the Legion's end. Yep, GG Starman. I was, I was saying I was just saying that I think they probably could have tapped out the first Gadwick and just drawn the extra two cards. There. Uh, that was a battle of inches. That was a very very close there, for sure. Um, all right, so that's going to end part two. So those of y'all watching on YouTube, click on over to part three. Also, thanks for watching and uh, hit that like button, all that kind of stuff. But yeah, that's we're going to be continuing on with part three of the sub battle stream that's going to, uh, for another video. Just, you know, break up the videos, basically. Hope you click on over there. Thanks for watching. I'll see you for part three.